A sunny morning greets soldiers of the Scots DG Kabul support unit as they work their way around a highly populated suburb a short distance from their base in Camp Suta. But this morning deceives the near freezing temperatures. Winter is coming. And this poses another threat to the capital's poorest. With the help of a Malik, the local village elder, soldiers hand out tickets, later to be exchanged for clothing and cooking utensils to stave off the approaching cold and hunger. In a place where a third of the population lives in poverty, on the equivalent of 60 pence a day, one in six children does not live to see a sixth birthday. So when soldiers visit, they're greeted by desperate but grateful crowds. I am so happy for the help of the British forces. It is very important. Not only the British, but all ISAF forces are important in Afghanistan for the poor people. As we know, they are our neighbours. We live together side by side. We want them to help people as much as possible because people here are really in need. Down narrow mud corridors, past bustling shops, the village opens onto a main road and an Afghan army checkpoint. And the unit stops for a brief chat with its commander on security in the area. This kind of contact with the local community is vital for the Kabul support unit, who are primarily responsible for the protection of UK personnel in the city. Uh, if we have a good re working relationship with the local population and they feel that they can talk to us, that we are, op we are open, we are approachable, then that's a great force protection benefit for us. Um, if, if we have this working relationship with the locals, they're not going to want insurgents hanging around there. They're not going to want to um, have IEDs tar targeting us. So they're going to tell us that right, this thing's, that they're going to be our, um, our, eyes, our ears to the ground. Insurgent attacks are still ongoing in the area. The research indicates a downward trend in their frequency, largely thanks to the trust ISAF forces have fostered here. Scots DG are also continuing to build on the foundation of previous ERICs when it comes to education. The relationship that troops in Camp Suta have built up with the local community has ensured stability. Just 10 years ago, you would not have seen a class. hoping to receive help today. The soldiers behind me are handing out winter supplies, including blankets, coats and wellies to help the most vulnerable through the winter. Unlike the past where food aid was given, the items in these bags are designed to last. Though positive steps have been taken in uniting the country and ending violence, Afghanistan's future remains uncertain and nobody's sure who will be providing for the vulnerable next winter. Michaela Reva for Forces News in Kabul.